All right, let me give you a tentative wrap up. Um, my 1980 Monarch 1442. Um, <clears throat> considering this done, and I'm air quoting done because they're never done, but this is kind of what I had envisioned when I bought this boat a month or so ago. It's going to give you a quick rundown. I know most of the stuff's probably going to been covered in the first video, but. Just give a quick run through. It's a 1980 Monarch uh, 1442. Picked it up about a month ago. <clears throat> it had been just sitting uncovered for the last 12 years at least. Uh, trees growing out of it, full of mud. Uh, had a small wood deck up front that was completely rotted off, and yeah, it's, it's in bad shape. The hull was in fantastic shape, um, given the fact it's 42 years old. There's no holes, no dents, uh, barely even a few scratches. Had the original paint on it, which was, um, needless to say, after 42 years, it was badly oxidized and faded, but none of it was peeling off, and it was, I mean, no flaking, nothing. So went to my go-to Rust-Oleum and gave her a quick, quick paint job. I uh, got my little graphic on here that's on all my boats. And uh, I'll show you what I did here. So up front, this was the original front seat. Extended that out. Uh, 14, 16 inches, something like that. Just to hold batteries up here. All the framing is 1 16th inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum. All the deck work and floors is half inch BCX that have all been fiberglass resin coated both sides. Carpet is just uh it's an amazon you know get what you get carpet but it's an actual 20 pound it's a decent carpet for what i paid for it up front here we're going to have 200 amp <coughs> lithium ion batteries uh lifepo not lithium ion they're lifepo batteries 100 amp i'll run two up here uh one will just be for trolling motor bilge pump and nav lights the other one is all the accessories Everything has got Anderson connectors, so everything is uh, swappable between circuit one and circuit two. Uh, wiring is all run down the side of the hull. All loomed off nicely. Uh, I did floors. Under the floors is the inch and a half. No, it's actually two inch. The two inch uh, pink Owens Corning um, styrofoam. Whether it does or does not give any flotation, I mean, I'm sure it gives some. I don't expect it to save the boat should I shuttle this thing. But it does insulate the floor and make it quiet and give you support everywhere. So, with the extension of this front bench, which you can use it for a casting deck if you wanted to. I won't, but it's there. Um, give my dogs a place to lay down. This front floor is 46 by 40. This back floor is 46 by 46. It's for a 14 foot boat. It's got just giant spaces where you can stand, which I kind of like. Took the original seats, cut holes in them, pulled out all the waterlogged mouse house foam that was in there, and now. You got all kinds of room, storage, lights and everything. Um, got a hatch, both sides, both uh, both benches are laid out the same way. I replaced the transom. <coughs> That's the old transom down there. One of the big upgrades I made, this was the uh, little tin plate they had for clamping the motor on which I since replaced with a piece of quarter inch thick four and a half by 36 inch just to beef it up a little bit more I also welded on a piece of quarter inch plate up here just to just to overkill strength and everything which is kind of funny seeing as I have a 9.9 .9 on here which may or may not be a 15 horse depending on if you're a game warden with too much time in their hands uh, but this is my primary setup. Most most of the time, that gas motor won't even be on there because I run electric-only lakes. But um, I do use it. 
and it will be used probably only about 30 percent of the time so i said majority of the time i'll just be running my trolling motor in the center but set up for both what else that's pretty much it on the decking and framing i said it's a real real simple layout i built let me go around the other side here <clears throat> i built a console to hold my electric switch panels um that panel, if you see, is that whole front panel pops right off of there. I've got two uh, aluminum rib nuts back there. So that is serviceable wear on the water. The fuses are all back behind there. So it's just those two knurled knobs there and there. And that whole front panel pops right off, gives you access to everything behind it. Uh, also makes a fantastic little table for my graph. That front switch panel runs off one battery. The rear switch panel is the other. Uh, rear switch panel is all your accessories, lights, nonsense like that. The front is my runs the trolling motor, uh, nav lights, bilge pump, and I do have one extra switch not being used. My paddle mounted up there. Uh, Ore locks have been turned into my my side lights. Uh, as far as electrical, got the usual suspects on here. Got nav lights up front. Got a little front spotlight. Obviously, all your cabin lights slash interior lights for your hatches. Um, another light over here. Bilge pump back here. Pretty simple setup. I said everything. Everything's on Anderson connectors. Well, the batteries and the trolling motors on Anderson connectors. These seat pedestals. I know I touched on in the last video. Um, these are at four inches. So with the swivel, I say I think the the riser is actually three and a half. But when you put the swivel on there, you're like at four and a half. The only pedestals I could find started at seven inches tall and it was just way too tall for what I was looking for. So I said I 3D printed my my own basis for the seats. Uh, you got a cup over here for your Yeti, Yeti cups. This I did not have done in the last video so we'll go over that. This is the mount I made for my seat in the back. I have this mounted on T-Tracks. Let me get to the other side of the boat. I wanted a seat that I could move because when I run the trolling motor, I typically sit like that and I run the trolling motor with my right hand. For some reason, my ass backwardsness, when I run my gas motor, I sit like that and I run it with my left hand. So I wanted a seat that I was able to adjust and move to where I wanted it. This track is 19 inches wide. I can slide the seat wherever I want it. One side, the other side, and all you have these little thumb screws. You literally just snug those down and it locks everything into place. So that was my answer to not buying the uh, $300 sliding seat bracket that they sell. T-Tracks. Fantastic. <clears throat> Actually you have it on the trailer. I did tell you about the trailer. It's a galvanized trailer. Came with the boat. Nothing special. Just your basic cheapo little galvanized trailer. New tires and wheels on it. I ripped out all the lights and wiring. Put all new lights, wiring, etc. on it so I shouldn't have any trouble. Mounted up a new winch. Uh, welded myself a little attachment there because want it to be pulling down so it kind of locks everything into place yeah it's just a it's just a simple little build but i think it's going to work perfect for what i need i'm not into all the big casting decks and rod lockers and all the rest of that stuff i'd like to just keep it absolutely as simple as possible <clears throat> what i added to this boat weight wise was two sheets of half inch plywood so that's 40 pounds a piece um, between that, the carpet, a uh, little bit of wiring, the benches, 
I had to guess with the seats, the whole nine yards, I, it's less than 120 pounds for everything I've added on to here. So, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty remarkable. Only adding 120 pounds for uh, decking out the boat exactly like I wanted it. So that's that. This was supposed to be my winter project, and um, I'm done as of, you know, December 4th. <clears throat> my goal is now is to throw a cover on it <clears throat> and put it out in the yard. Because if it stays in here, with me having nothing to do all winter long now, there's going to be all kinds of other bells and whistles and things printed and shoved in here that probably don't need to be in here. Um will fall victim to my my boredom so I'm gonna try to get it covered up get it stuck out in the yard um, I want to go through that motor um, go through it get it all done and then I guess I can go through that 25 horse over there and get it all freshened up I have no intentions of using that motor on here but it will sell for twice the price if it's in running condition all right <clears throat> that's it if you need anything let me know if you have any questions let me know if you want some 3d printed stuff let me know uh, rod holder yep yep um and if you've got a boat that you want reworked and it'll give me something to do over the winter you can call me on that too all right any questions just ask later